Welcome, Wastelanders, to another exciting episode of Must Have New Fallout 4 Mods. Today, we're diving into essential mods that will transform your Commonwealth experience. Now, without further ado, let's jump right in. First, let me introduce the F4C plugin. I've gathered some noteworthy mods from the recent uploads. First up is Direct Hit. This mod completely overhauls Fallout 4's armor system, adding realistic, limb-specific damage seen in games like Tarkov and Arma. In other words, the damage varies depending on the enemy's body part and the armor covering it. This mod applies to power armor as well, meaning you won't take damage until the power armor is damaged. It's an incredibly innovative concept. Since this mod also applies to enemies, you can expect more immersive combat against foes in power armor. Next, we have Bastion, a power armor overhaul. This mod allows power armor to absorb and mitigate damage. Each part of the power armor operates individually, absorbing damage to the covered body part. When a power armor part is damaged, you can take damage to the exposed body part, and some weapons can penetrate the power armor, dealing damage to the wearer. This mod is essential for power armor enthusiasts. Like Direct Hit, it also applies to enemies, so it's recommended to use the Game Configuration Menu mod, which allows you to adjust the durability of both power armor and enemy servo armor. Third is Escape Freeze F4S. This plugin addresses game freezes caused by deadlock situations that occur while checking specific conditions. If the game freezes, especially during combat, this mod detects it and unfreezes the game within three to five seconds. However, it's worth noting that this mod doesn't solve the infinite loading screen issue. Since it resolves freezes, it's advisable to give it a try. Next is the No Water Jump mod. This mod removes the ability to jump in the water, similar to a dolphin. Many players find that jumping in the water disrupts immersion, and I share this sentiment. While it may be slightly inconvenient not to be able to jump in the water compared to regular gameplay, I believe that using this plugin to eliminate the ability to jump underwater is a wiser choice for an enhanced level of immersion. In this segment, I'll be introducing rifle-related mods, and there are a few noteworthy ones. First up is the DP-27 Degdyaryov machine gun. This rifle is quite impressive with its circular, saw-like magazine attached to the top. Originally a Soviet light machine gun, this mod uses 5.56 ammunition instead of the 7.62 Suk 54 Mirror R. To use this rifle, you'll need the American 180, and it supports four barrel, two drum magazine, and four stock modification options. You can craft this weapon in the Weapon DP-27 category at the chem station. Next up is the Assault LMG. This mod transforms the original Commonwealth Assault Rifle into the intended LMG light machine gun. It slightly boosts the Assault Rifle's damage and rate of fire, while also adding various mods that blend modern components with Fallout's unique blend of post-apocalyptic World War II style. You have the option to choose between the standalone version and the vanilla replacer version of this mod based on your preference. Next is the FN Scar H Armory Project. This mod expands on Subleader's FN Scar H Battle Rifle mod by adding new components. It offers unique animations tailored to the FN Scar H and Scar SC, faithfully reproducing their models and textures. The mod seamlessly integrates with the Tactical Reload mod. Additionally, it introduces various features such as new grips, magazines, scopes, and lasers. The FN SCAR H and SCAR SC are widely used battle rifle variants in the Commonwealth, known for their power and versatility. With this mod, you'll be able to dominate adversaries across the ruins of the Commonwealth. Lastly, there's the 1911 complex. This mod introduces four firearms, the M1911, M45A1, STI DVC 2011, and Kimber Desert Warrior, along with a staggering 85 attachments for each. These pistols utilize Cadaver's 10 millimeter animations and seamlessly integrate with other mods like Fake Through Scope and the West Tech Optics Pack, allowing for precise targeting with remarkable scopes and dynamic animations. With the 1911 Complex, you'll experience a heightened level of combat in the Commonwealth. In this segment, I'd like to introduce Outfit Mods. 
starting with the GF2 Nagnat. This outfit mod adds the attire worn by a character named Nagant, from the game GF2 to the Commonwealth. It has an overall quaint feel, with a striking red scarf draped around the neck. The jacket in white gives off a uniform vibe, the skirt, in a shade of blue, gives a denim-like impression, but the tactical feel is enhanced by the belt that wraps around it. The accessories, including the side bag and pistol, further elevate the charm of this outfit. The white stockings on the legs and thighs are truly a standout feature, and the brown boots not only display excellent quality, but also harmonize well with the overall ensemble. If you're playing as a female character, I highly recommend giving this outfit a try. Next up is the Modern Warfare Wetsuits. The Modern Warfare Wetsuits allow you to wear a wetsuit designed for night reconnaissance missions in the game. It features an impressive ensemble with a black mask, oxygen breathing apparatus, tactical vest, and a striking black wetsuit. Wearing such an outfit in swampy areas like the harbor while carrying out missions could provide an even deeper level of immersion. On the back, there's a tactical helmet and swim gear attached. These accessories complement the outfit quite nicely. Consider adding this mod to your outfit collection. Next, let's introduce some of Oppressor's creations. First up is Gator's Magnum Eye Protection. This mod allows you to wear Gator's Magnum sunglasses in the game. You can freely customize the color, frame, stickers, and attachment position, allowing for various styles. Next, we have the Teddy Bear Replacer. This mod replaces the teddy bears in the Fallout world with new 3D models and 4K textures, making them more realistic and detailed. Moving on to Oppressor's Workshop category. This mod is a workshop category mod created by Oppressor. It serves as a prerequisite mod for Oppressor's independent workshop mods, adding a custom workshop category. This category includes various items such as Oppressor's military workshop pack, turrets, and more. For example, there's the concrete T-wall, which introduces military-grade concrete to the workshop system for construction. Additionally, you can add the Abrams X turret. This is an incredibly powerful turret based on the turret of the Abrams tank, known for its high firepower and durability. Through these creations, you can strengthen your settlements even further. And there you have it, 10 game-changing mods that will revolutionize your Fallout 4 adventure. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more epic mod showcases, and remember, the wasteland is yours to shape. Until next time, stay irradiated and stay alive.